And now, our feature presentation. potential terrorists. Your police agencies spy on you. They go to your mosque and to your churches. They twist your words and they make you into a terrorist. So we have to challenge, in my view, the political power of the police. We have to take on community control of public safety. We have to transform the relationship between the police and the public. As it stands today, the police believe that we work for them. They work for you. So what do we have to do? I think in this city, given the history of the police, it's racism. The harassment that is visited on poor communities every day. We see them every day in the streets that we should use the ballot box, the referendum, to call for decentralization of public safety. We need to build a coalition in this city to take the power of the police and their ability to police our communities out of the hands of bureaucrats and politicians and put them in the hands of community people, in the hands of our people. The police should be servants of the people and not the people subjected to the police power. We have to challenge the political power of law enforcement. Because if we don't challenge the political power of law enforcement, any civil servant who takes a test today and gets a gun tomorrow can murder you with impunity. We have to understand that we can police ourselves better than anyone else. We have to build communities where the police live and work in our community. The police have to live and work in our community. They should be from amongst us. Then we don't have to worry about unsafe streets because his children are using those streets. We don't need a professional down at City Hall or Bratton who they call over to the UK to give them advice on how to control the niggas in the UK. We don't need that. We need community district policing boards, public safety in our community. Each community should determine how policing policy is carried out in their community. We need a residency clause. The police shouldn't brutalize black people in Harlem and then go live out in Long Island in a nice, safe house? The judge, the judge in the district courts shouldn't pass judgment on poor, unemployed black youth and then go out to the Hamptons and live comfortably. We need accountability. That's what Chase said. Chase said, accountability. We have to hold law enforcement 
it accountable to the people and the needs of this city. And we can do it through referendum. We can build a coalition across class lines, across gender lines. We can mobilize the vote. We can talk about getting votes back for the ex-offenders. Ex-offenders have to come forward and speak for themselves. There are 65 million people in this country with criminal convictions. Where is their voice? Where is the constituency? Where are the elected officials that represent them when they can't get a job because they have a criminal record? Brothers and sisters, in this city, we need to decentralize public safety. We need to use the ballot box and the referendum to register voters so that this becomes an issue in this campaign year. That New York City need police that serve the community and that come from the community and that have the needs of the community at heart. Until we do that, we're going to be subjected to the terror of these SWAT teams, these people running around with guns in our community, the war on drugs that are criminalizing our generations. Until we stand down the police, the police will continue to brutalize and dominate us. So what we need is a broad coalition in this city to decentralize 